Hi, this is Trey Woods, and you can find me at appmarketermagazine.com or on Twitter at app underscore marketer or facebook.com slash app marketer. Today I'm going to talk about a very powerful tool called Searchman. It's a really cool SEO tool, and this is going to be a really quick video. It's just going to be an overview of this awesome tool. Searchman SEO, and I'm going to show you how to use it after you log in to Searchman, right? So you would go to my portfolio up in the top area over here, and it give, actually puts a whole portfolio of your apps here. Now, when you, you click on my portfolio, you can see your apps, and I just happen to choose this app here, Zombie Tsunami, which is a popular app, I realize. Zombie, popular keyword term, but sometimes it trends up, and sometimes keywords trend down. So this is a good way to check on if the apps are doing well in the store, how they're trending and the keywords about this app. So it's a really cool tool for that. The first thing that you can see is that you can actually track different rankings in different app stores. Not only can you see trends regarding ranking, but if you are smart, you can try to analyze what type of things are affecting ranking in different stores and different locations. So I'm gonna show you how I do it here. So I'm gonna go here to the US over here and I added some competitors. So you can see right here, there's a lot of competitors. So let's presume right now that this is my app. The interesting thing is that you can see that this is a pretty cool tool that I haven't seen before. You can see what's going on with the trends for the keywords. And I'm gonna show you very quickly how to do this. So let's say I had this zombie trend. So I go down here to zombie and I'd click on that. And I'd actually see here for zombie tsunami, and what's going on with all the people around. So this is my competitors right here and what they're doing. So you can see Stupid Zombie Free, Stupid Zombies, Zombie Ace, and then Zombie Tsunami. You could see this right here. If you jump this many spots in ranking in just one day, it's pretty remarkable. So what I can do with this data is I can actually go back and start looking at what zombie tsunami did in this time to move that much maybe they're monetizing their app or they're doing some sort of paid downloads also we have here is downloaded monetization data right over here you can start using it for other apps to see how many downloads you're getting and you can see a correlation between downloads after increase in ranking so it's very cool stuff and you can actually see it here so what's also really cool about Searchman is that you can go back to your My Portfolio over here and you can actually search by country here. So if I wanted to know what's going on in the UK, I could click on UK over here and it actually shows me data from the UK here. So I could actually look and compare and I could look at keywords and I could say maybe it's very competitive in the United States, but I then I could go over to the UK where it's maybe less competitive and I could see the keywords there and attempt to rank my app there. We learned in this video that you can use Searchman to see trends regarding rankings, see how things are affecting other people's rankings and your own rankings, and a clear understanding of what's going on regarding the amount of hits your app is getting, the volume of searches, and how your app is behaving in different arenas. If you are considering using Searchman SEO, also watch out for what's going on in the App Store too. Don't just only rely on one tool. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to use Searchman SEO. To learn more in depth about how to use App Store optimization tools like this, go to appmarketermagazine.com and you can read the full article I did on this. If you like this video, thumbs up like this video in the YouTube description. So just go below this video on YouTube right now and you can see a blue link in the video description at YouTube. It says at marketermagazine.com slash free. If you're not at YouTube right now, you can click through and go to YouTube or press a button that on the screen you're probably on at right now and it'll take you over to the magazine to get it for free. I look forward to having you as a reader and all I ask from you is your comments. It helps me make better issues. Thanks a lot. I'll talk to you soon.